Ready? Jesus, I pray that you would speak through John for this interview so that it would inspire people and that they would um, just see more clearly uh, the vision behind what the song that you gave the gods. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. So the Overcome theme was the prophetic message for this project. It permeated everything that we did from start to finish. Um, it kind of started with David Perkins, actually, who started preaching that we could be overcomers. He started at a, at a youth retreat that we were doing. And it was obviously a very profound message because, well, the obvious thing is we were going through such a hard time as a church, actually. We had, um, our future was a little insecure. There was a lot of uncertainty. We were without a pastor at the time. And the Lord just led us to find strength in our weakness. You know, the interesting thing about weakness is most people don't think it's a good thing. But Paul talks about rejoicing in your suffering and rejoicing in hardship because when we are weak, we are strong. Our powerlessness, our weakness makes God's strength perfect and his power perfect. And that's what we were finding in this season, in this time together, as we were navigating all the transition and all the uncertainty together. We found a strength in, in God that we've never known before. And we were weaker than ever, and we were stronger than ever. So this overcome theme just completely saturated us, and we realized it was what God was saying. It was what he was saying to our, our, young, our young people. And it, it's all you know, based out of Revelation 12:11. Talking about at the end, they overcame him. Talking about the evil one. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb, by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. And we are grasping the power of the blood of the lamb like we never have before. The power of the cross. And then it's given us a story. It's setting us free. It's completely, uh, it's completely healing our sickness. And it's giving us a story that we have to share. And that's what this whole project is about, sharing. It's our testimony. So we got the blood of the Lamb. we got the power of our testimony. And we have realized when you're on your knees, broken, you don't love your life so much. The Lord is showing us what a sacrificial life is like. So it was very significant for us to come together in the middle of a time of transition, in the middle of a season of uncertainty, and sing these songs together. Our young kids talking about overcoming. We will overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. It has such power in it. And since, we have seen hundreds upon hundreds of testimonies of God healing people, God setting people free, God busting in on the scene in a situation and pulling people through. We've seen cocaine addictions completely gone. We've seen people who abuse themselves and cut themselves healed completely. We've seen alcohol, alcoholism healed. And it's been a phenomenal process. And we are seeing that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb, by the word of our testimony, because Christ overcame the grave. Because He overcame, we can overcome, and we will overcome. It's been kind of the story of our life for the last year, overcoming. We are overcomers. It's truth, and we stand on truth. It's the bedrock principle of our life right now. And we, we care so much about this that we are kind of crusading for stories. We're, we, are, we, we just want to hear as many testimonies as, as we possibly can. We just set up our, our website, desperationonline.com, where there's a page where you could go and you could read hundreds of stories of how the Lord pulled people through. And then you could upload your own story. You could blog about how God healed you of this or he healed you of that or healed you of this. I mean, the thing that you need to understand is that your story could be the very thing that someone needs to hear, that someone needs to read so they could find freedom in their own life. So I want to encourage you guys to get online and share your story. Share your testimony because as we see in Re what it says in Revelation, there's power in the testimony. The blood of the Lamb, the power of your testimony. We're seeing change and we're overcoming and it's been an incredible blessing.